farewell parade has been scheduled for Wednesday afternoon at the Police Sports Club Grand Eve Larry. The outgoing commissioner is set to retire in April after 30 plus years of service in the force, but will be proceeding on pre retirement leave early next month. During his final address as commissioner at the annual police officers' conference last week, Passat said that while his journey with the force was a wonderful one, he's looking forward to entering the next phase of his life. Last month, Passat told reporters that the legacy he will leave behind is reflected in the work he had done for over 30 years in the Guyana police force. I'm not into um, making legacy or, or my whole um, work in the force, my entire work was to address issues to meet the objectives of the force. And I never really consider legacy. What is there? You know, the reporters know. Since his appointment as Commissioner of Police, Passad has spearheaded several projects, including the Social Crime Prevention Program, all aimed at boosting public trust. However, according to the outgoing top cop, he is most proud of the establishment of the Fallen Heroes Foundation. The Fallen Heroes Foundation, providing um, welfare and education assistance to children of police officers who were killed in the line of duty. Poussad was appointed acting top cop in 2014 and was confirmed the following year by President David Granger. Poussad returned to work last month after being sent on a two-month special leave upon his return from a four-month annualized leave back in November. There were uncertainties over his return in the light of recommendations made following a commission of inquiry into the Guyana Police Force's handling of allegations of plans to assassinate the head of state. The COI found that Passad improperly inserted himself into the matter while on vacation leave and as such recommended that he be made to resign or be removed from office for misbehavior. However, Public Security Minister Kemrad Ramjatan subsequently told this newscast that the top cop will continue work until it's time for his retirement. Reporting for the evening news, I am Texas Series.